Well, in Top Topic, we take a look at one of the stories making headlines here in China over the past 24 hours. And today's topic is dealing with the fundamental reforms that are set to hit China's public work center. An article from China.org.cn has the latest. Now, the government has pledged to finish a fundamental reform that will likely affect about 30 million employees working in the public sector by the end of 2015. According to guidelines released on Monday, this is all part of an effort to improve the efficiency and competitiveness of these different social segments. The nine-chapter guideline on advancing the reform of public sectors, which is a comprehensive document that instructs a country-wide restructuring that could eventually affect all state-funded institutions, was made public on Monday, which is a year after being put into effect, and is expected to facilitate future reform. The reform will be carried out in two phases, with the first stage to be completed by the end of the year 2015, when all public sectors should should be classified and adopt corresponding approaches to implement the reform. After that, a deeper restructuring involving changes in salaries and benefits, such as health care and pensions, will be completed by the year 2020. Now, the documents categorize public sectors into three divisions, administrative, public, and productive institutions. Administrative organizations, which have functions similar to a government department, will be merged into suitable government agencies. Productive organizations, such as theaters, will transform into enterprise-like companies, meaning that they will no longer receive government funding. And public institutions, such as compulsory education, are expected to receive more revenue and have more personnel quota in order to improve their services. So it appears as though China's government is trying to restructure the public work sector in order to make it more efficient. Well, next up on Media Watch, we take a look at the name in the news.